Behind me, I have the all new sixth generation 2024 Subaru Impreza. They've added more power, increased the styling and improved the technology in the car. So I'm gonna talk about all those details in today's video and more. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on Subaru related topics. So if you enjoy those types of videos, consider clicking that subscribe button down below. And if you guys enjoy this video and get any value out of it or learn something new, please be sure to click the like button. Today we're looking specifically at the RS trim level. This is the highest trim you can get in the 2024 Impreza. It's an upgrade from the Sport trim. Now all the Subaru Imprezas come standard with a two liter engine, four cylinder naturally aspirated, but on the RS, you get the upgraded 2.5 liter naturally aspirated. This increases the horsepower by about 30 and gives you about 33 more pound feet of torque. So the standard two liter engine comes with 152 horsepower and the now 2.5 liter comes with 182 horsepower. The CVT automatic transmission is now standard on all of the 2024 Subaru Imprezas. They no longer have the manual transmission, but we do have on the Sport and the RS trim, we have the eight speed paddle shifters up on the steering wheel. You also have SI drive, which changes your driving characteristics. So I is intelligent mode. It's gonna be a little bit more gradual acceleration and S is sport mode. You're gonna have a sharper peak with your throttle response. This is rated for 26 in the city and 33 miles per gallon on the highway, average 29 on a 16.6 gallon tank. That should get you close to 500 miles of range on a single fill up. Of course, we still get Subaru's symmetrical all wheel drive system standard, no matter which trim level you go with. The RS comes with these 18 inch alloy black wheels with the Yokohama Avid S34 low profile tires with a tire rating of 225.40.18. This now has the dual pinion electronic steering rack, similar to that in the WRX, giving you a better steering feel and experience. Not only do we get performance upgrades for the 24 Impreza, but we also have styling improvements. Now the Impreza only comes in the hatchback, which they should have done long ago. We primarily sell the hatchback when people purchase these. So it, it only made sense. I think they said somewhere around 73% of the Impreza's purchased last year were in the hatchback. The RS has exclusive styling upgrades that set it apart from the lower trim level. Starting out on the hatch, you'll see that RS badge. That RS badge is also carried over on the driver door and the front passenger door. On the side mirrors, they are painted gloss metallic black instead of the painted body color. So like on a lower trim level, like a sport or base, you would see this mirror painted white instead of the black. And on the interior, the RS comes exclusive with these black cloth seats, red stitched or red color side bolsters. The steering wheel is leather wrapped with red stitching and the shift lever, the shifter knob, is leather wrapped as well with red stitching. You also have the RS badge stitched into the carpet floor mats, and for your pedals, you have the aluminum pedal covers with the rubber grips. I talked about this in my 2024 Crosstrek update video, but the seats, just like in the Crosstrek, have also been improved in the Impreza. So if you have not had an opportunity yet, I would highly encourage you to check out one of these in person, sit in it, and even test drive, you will notice a difference between this and just the 2023 model year. They have been redesigned to be incredibly comfortable, especially on trips, and I think just the styling of them looks a lot better. It's hard to get in one of these and not notice the large 11.6 inch tablet style touchscreen display. This is what all of the new Subarus are moving to. So whether we like it or not, this is what we are getting. And with the new Impreza, we now have this large touchscreen display. So for new technology, we have that as well as wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which allows you to mirror your phone up on the display to use navigation, listen to music, and enjoy hands-free phone calls. The RS comes standard with a wireless charging pad, but you do have the option to upgrade this as an accessory, even if you get a base trim in the Impreza. But if you don't wanna use wireless charging and you wanna rely on more reliable or faster charging capabilities, 
go with your USB-C or your USB-A charging ports. Both the 2024 Impreza and Crosstrek received an update with something in the climate control called dynamic ventilation. So with this, it will adjust your climate and blow air or heat to only the seats that have people sitting in them. And then it works with sensors in the seat, much like your seatbelt alarm. Another improvement with the technology is now an upgraded EyeSight camera system. So the EyeSight cameras have been on these cars for many years now. And for this year, they added this third monocular lens. This allows for better detection for cyclists and pedestrians on the roadways. And then of course, you still have all of the main features and benefits like adaptive cruise control, emergency collision warning, and automatic braking systems with those cameras up front. And much like our other modern Subarus, now the EyeSight camera lenses are enclosed. So you don't have the risk of getting debris or anything on those lenses when you're trying to clean your windshield and they're a much lower profile increasing your outward visibility the rs has an optional package that includes the power moonroof the harman kardon speaker system and the 10-way power driver seat with newly added lumbar support the rs starts at just twenty eight thousand nine hundred seventy five dollars with destination and delivery so for the price this thing packs a ton of value let me know your all's thoughts down in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to click that subscribe button and click the like button if you made it this far in the video. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.